happens is you get to this time of year and you definitely know your guys are ready to face someone else. They're ready to compete against someone else. And, and with that, there'll be a lot of adversity and it'll come quick, but without a doubt, they're just excited to get up and face someone else. Do you have a starting five in mind? I'm sure you might not want to tell us, but do you kind of have that? Yeah, idea? no, it's not about not, not saying anything. You know, th this is the thing, Stephen, for us. Right now, every single moment we have, whether it's we still have another practice today, we have a meeting tonight, we have a shoot around tomorrow, every single time we get together as a team, it's still an opportunity for us to get better and our guys to grow. So there's still, you know, yeah, we have some guys in mind and we think we know, you know, where it's looking, but. Right now, our guys still every opportunity we have to take advantage to try and get better, and which means guys can, you know, put themselves in a better position as they get closer to uh, seven o'clock tomorrow night. When we get the first game, do you expect to go maybe a little deeper to, in your bench than you were early in the season? Yeah, great point. Probably, you know, you would think so. I think, uh, like Stephen uh, alluded to, you do want to see how guys react when the lights come on and they feel, see someone else in front of them. So I think with that, there's a chance that more guys may play or minutes may be divvied up a little bit more. Uh, but once game time comes and you're in the flow of the game, you know, the guys that are getting it done, the guys that are playing, and hopefully we're having some success out there, those will be the guys that, that obviously get you know, a bulk of the minutes, but probably without a doubt, we'll go a little bit deeper early in the season just to see what everybody has. What kind of scouting report do you have on Mercer? Do you know about them? Well, I know they're an extremely well-coached team, a really good ball club. Uh, Coach Gary was at Purdue for a long time, and he's one of the most well-respected coaches there is. Um, he's now in his fourth season there. They play a really good round of basketball, a really good offensive team. They've put a lot of time in uh, from what it sounds like this off season and watching their scrimmage into their defense. They're going to pressure a little bit more than they have in the past, it sounds like. And uh, they have experienced returners. They have guys that scored double digits for them last year. They have some transfers that have come in that were really effective at their prior universities. And they have some incoming freshmen um, that we're going to have to deal with. So re really, really good ball club, very well coached, and it's going to be a great challenge for us. Do you all expect to have tabs available as far as game action tomorrow? I think it's a lot like we talked about, Stephen, that we're still in that mode where right now we have another practice today. So we'll see how he feels after the practice. We have a shoot around tomorrow. So he's in that mode. But like I said two weeks ago at, at the introductory uh, tip off, that he's been cleared for practice. Now it's just a matter of him getting in game shape and where he is and how he recovers day to day. So I think we'll know more closer to tomorrow after shoot around. Anybody else that could be not available or any other injuries? Well, I look at it like this. We still have another day of practice. I'm just hoping everybody's available tomorrow. We still got a practice today and a shoot around tomorrow. So until seven o'clock tomorrow, we'll see who everybody that's available. But hopefully it will be. I guess y'all had secret scrimmages, not so secret scrimmages this day and age in college basketball. What did you learn about your team in those outings? Just that our guys really have bought two feet into what we want our identity to be. And that by no means, uh, you know, equates that there was no mistakes or, I mean, there was a lot, a lot of things we got to get better a lot. But what I did see about these guys, and I love this group and really uh, respect the way they bought two feet into our system, what we want to do on defense, what we want to do on offense. And they had a great energy about them. And you know, now it's a matter of, again, I've said this before, this time of year with the situation we're in, it's not as much what we do, but it's how we do it. But now we're getting to that time of year where what we do and how they have to go together. You know, we have, it's how we do it, but we have to do what we do really well and, and execute in that. So we'll see tomorrow night where that is. You've talked a lot about defense. How do you feel like they've been executing through your practice this far? I, I think uh, that part I feel, you know, I think comfortable is the wrong word. I don't think coaches are ever comfortable, ever feel good about things. But, but I do know this, that if you came to our practices uh, back from April through what we're about to do here in the next 15 minutes and to yesterday, every practice is very physical, is very competitive. And defense is a huge component of that. So, and our guys have bought into that. There's never any moping about it. There's never any uh, trying to do it a different way. They know what the standard is defensively in terms of every day in practice. And that's what you practice for. You hope that come game time that that carries over. And it doesn't mean that it necessarily will every time, but that is what we want our identity to be. How excited are you to see the, the defense, the team feed off the crowd, you know, a live crowd tomorrow? Oh, no, really excited about that. And that's what makes college basketball great. I'm so excited about the students being in here. Again, I've seen it on film. I've been in this building before, as we've talked about before. Uh, I hope it's a fantastic crowd tomorrow night. Uh, you know, there's not going to be a lot of basketball going on tomorrow night. I think tonight, opening night, most of the college teams play in the country. Every single NBA team plays uh, in the NBA tonight, all 30 teams. So tomorrow night, there's a handful of games. And I know there's a lot going on in the country, which is great. But hopefully that uh, 
we'll get uh, some Minji's Madness in there tomorrow night. Any other